Hey YouTube friends, some of you have asked for an updated video on this culvert wall that I built. And it's about three years old, most of the walls are about three years old. And they're holding up real good. I haven't seen very many changes in them. A lot of water's passed through here and no degradation of concrete or crumbling or anything like that. This was the first one I built. And this needed to be done because the water through here would wash out the drive every single time. We had a major storm, so. Still doing its job. And I'm pretty happy with it. Now we'll go over to the uh, exit wall. This was the last wall I did, and I improved the methods on my improvement video, and I was able to get it to form up a lot more solid with the you no know, cracks and all that by taping the bags. Again, this was another, it wasn't important to do the exit, however, I did want to finish the job. As you can see, Holding up pretty good. So yes, I definitely recommend this method if you get in a pinch and need to do it and want to save some money. Depending on how much the bags are in your area, they were really reasonable for me. They were only about $1.80 at the time, a bag volume in my area. So uh, it was worth it. I'll go up to the uh, garage wall and We'll take a look at that next and see how it's holding up. Okay, this is the uh, next to last wall I created using concrete bags. This is the one that I really didn't mix the bags very well. And although it held up well, it had a couple of spots where the bags weren't mixed. So... And you can tell it's kind of rough textured where they weren't mixed. However, I learned my lesson. This was a rush job. The other thing, um, I didn't fill any of these cracks and let it go through two freeze cycles, like two winters, with rain, freezing rain, and all that, just to see what would happen. And it didn't seem to crack or crumble or anything like that. However, I did plan on coming back, and when you don't tape the bags, they stretch and they form cracks whenever they set up because the bags kind of stretch. So I suggest you sometimes tape the bags if you're concerned or go back and you know put some more concrete texture on the face of it. However, this wall's not going anywhere. There's a lot of people out there that say that I'm holding up this whole hill and everything. Really, this hill's been established here probably for hundreds of years, and I only dug in the side of the hill. Took out a little bit of clay. It's solid clay. So uh, I think people are kind of overthinking it. You know, you got to have a whole ton of engineering just to put in a wall like this. Uh, I'm only going, you know, maybe two and a half feet up supporting dirt. And a lot of it is just rock that I put behind the wall. So um, this method works. I mean, I definitely think if, uh, you know, talk to somebody... Make sure you're doing the right thing when you build a wall that you put in, you know, tie backs or uh, geo grid or whatever someone recommends in your area. However, I don't think this wall's going anywhere and it hasn't changed except for the bad spots where I didn't mix it, the bags, like right there. So uh, overall, I'm really happy with it and. Um, you know, I don't think it's going anywhere, and uh, I'll keep you posted in the future. I'll probably be doing some more walls. I really appreciate you guys and gals, whoever, are uh, subscribing and looking at the stuff. And I didn't know it would get that much attention, but anyway, have a great day.